Hi, I'm Papa. And I'm Gaga. Welcome to Maybe Island. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Follow us on social media, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok. Let us know also where are you watching from? We love to give shout outs to states and countries, so let us know. We love to hear from you. Okay, so today we're reacting to Tolerate It from Taylor Swift's ninth album, Evermore. It is a track five, once again, and as you might know, track fives are always vulnerable, heartfelt, and straight from Taylor's heart. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I think so. We're ready. We're now gonna listen to the lyrics, but stick with us because afterwards we will have some interesting comments about this particular relationship. Here we go. I like this music so far. Mm-hmm. I sit and watch you everything you do she seems fairly fixated on the sky whoever this is yes well, she, he's older and wiser and watch you tolerate it I wonder what she means by that tolerate it does it sound good oh that's good positive self-affirmation mm-hmm She waits by the door like a little kid. She has some doubts. She definitely has some does. Doubts. Sounds like he's not very affirming. <laughs> Whoever. So I have a little bit of a fact for you about this song. Taylor said in an interview with Apple Music that she actually wrote this based on a book and also because she can relate to this song in some way at some point in her life. So it is okay. kind of autobiographical. Okay. okay, okay. Well, that helps. I've kind of wondered who this was about. Yes. And maybe it's not about anyone specifically then. Yeah, maybe it's how she's felt in some of the relationships she's yeah. had. It's, a, it's kind of a sad song in a way, sad commentary uh, on her feelings. I'd like to start with, I sat watching you reading with your head low. I wake and watch you breathing, your eyes closed. I sit and watch you and notice everything you do or don't do. So basically, she's watching him, but there's some question that he's not either looking or talking to her. And they're, I guess, supposed to be in a relationship. Well, what do you think, Gaga? I think she's kind of studying him to uh, see what makes him tick. Okay. So she has it in her mind that she's trying to figure figure out what his vibe is and then she's probably going to try to go along with that as opposed to leading with her own feelings. But do you think she, she likes him? Is that what you're thinking? Is that the impression well, you I get? Think, yeah, I think she admires him, at yeah. least at this point. At least at this point. <laughs> Final line of that verse is, you're so much older and wiser than I. And I would say to Islanders, he obviously was older. She wouldn't have said so. But wiser is not necessarily true. Don't automatically assume because somebody is older than you that they're wiser than you. They may be and they may not be. It really depends on your life's experiences. Right. Sometimes you learn lessons early. For some people, they learn them later. And some never learn them. Yes. <laughs> Right. I wait by the door like I'm just a kid. Use my best colors for your portrait. Lay the table with fancy, I'll say stuff, and watch you tolerate it. That was interesting to me that she used her best colors for the portrait. Right. I'm an artist and I've done landscape work, animals, and portraiture. And you do use finer paints for portraits. Right. That really says and she, something to me. But she gets the impression that he's just tolerating it. That, that, that even though she's giving her best, uh, okay, so well, what as far as he's concerned? I think concerned? she's trying to make herself acceptable to him. He doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> and then she goes on to say, if it's all in my head, tell me now. Tell me I've got it wrong, that you really do care. Well, because she's not getting any positive feedback she is having doubts self-doubts and apparently right. this guy just uh, doesn't seem to return whatever feeling she's putting out there it makes her doubt herself uh, I mean, I think this is what seems like a one-sided relationship. No, I think uh, deep down, though, she knows that she deserves to be treated with 
with a lot more than he's giving. Well, I would say this to Islanders. Uh, it's almost like she worships him. She says her best uh, colors for his, your portrait. Don't worship anybody. Even if they're older and supposedly wiser, which they may not be, don't worship them. Be in love with them and make sure they're in love with you, but don't just assume that everything they do is perfect because it may not be the case, man or woman, young man or young woman. I greet you with a battle's heroes welcome. I take your indiscretions all in good fun. I sit and I listen. I polish plates till they gleam and glisten. You're so much older and wiser than I. So uh, I think she keeps up the good fight. You know, she keeps trying and she actually overlooks his flaws. Uh, right. Painting a rosy but, portrait. In, uh, but what do you say I take your indiscretions all in good fun? What do you get from that? I just think maybe he teases her uh -huh. uh, and he thinks it's funny. But she doesn't? No, she doesn't think it's funny. She's not getting enough positive feedback to feel like she can be teased about right. anything. It's, that's the way this sounds to me, an unequal relationship. And then she repeats again, I guess, the chorus, I wait by the door, and she goes over this again. Mm -hmm. uh, well, she knows something isn't quite right, but she's beginning to look at the situation realistically. But it does appear, she says, uh, I know my love should be celebrated. She celebrates him because she says she doesn't. All she does for him, but it's sort of like it's a one-way street. Yeah. It seems like a one-way street. Then she goes on to say and start to question, okay, while you're out building, other worlds. Where was I? Where's that man who would throw blankets over my barbed wire? That is an interesting phrase. That's a very interesting phrase. What do you think it means? I know, because you and I grew up in the country, what a barbed wire fence is. Yes. And for those of you that don't know or have never seen one, if you find yourself in the middle of a pasture and you see there's a bull in the pasture, <laughs> you want to get out of there. Right. And you go to a, a, usually a three or four strand bob wire fence. Unless somebody throws something over it, you're good. you could rip yourself up trying you, to get out. You can get cut. That's what keeps the bull from getting out of the pasture, but it, right. it also can hold you in. Right. And so right. I was just thinking, throw a blanket over the barbed wire. And I think Taylor was a country girl. She grew okay. up on a farm, so yes. she would she know would what know that is. What a barbed wire and, uh, is. Yes. I'm not sure everybody does know what that means. But uh, you almost have to throw something over it to protect yourself, or you'll get sliced you up. You'll get sliced up. And I know she's thinking, okay, where am I in all of this? Uh, now I'm begging for your footnotes in the story of your life. Now that just gets to me because the footnotes are kind of something nobody ever reads. Mm -hmm. They're down at the bottom of the actual page. It's really not important. It's just a reference. <laughs> but she wants to at least be have well, some but, kind but of... She doesn't even feel included to the point of being even in the footnotes. Right, Or, right. you know, just in the footnotes. And um, she says, am I always taking up too much space or time? You assume I'm fine, but what would you do if I, And you this, know? that starts into a whole new thought. I think he made her feel like she was just a burden to wow. him. Wow. You know, you, you never want to feel that way, like you're not appreciated right. and not celebrated. So uh, let me read this, and then you jump in on what you think this means. But what would you do if I break free and leave us in ruins? took this dagger in me and removed it. I think uh, the dagger is the pain she's feeling from the mm -hmm. relationship and, and leave us in ruins. Uh, she says it'll probably ruin me because it's going to be hard. I, but, but I have questioned, does he even care? I think that dagger represents his influence over her. Okay, so okay. she's yanking the dagger out and okay. saying, I'm not going to let this bother me anymore. I'm just not going to let it bother me. And she know. says, gain the weight of you, then lose it. Believe me, I could do it. So she is starting to say, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. a weak little sister like you think I am. Yes. I, I can bail. I can get out. And no. I, I think that this is really healthy the way she's feeling oh, at I this do too. point. I do it's too. very healthy. I'm glad to see her realize what's going on. And, you know, you have to remove yourself from that kind of situation. You, yes, you do. Once again, tell me if it's all in my head or tell me I got it wrong. But I know my love should be celebrated. And all you do is tolerate it. She knows she should, should be celebrated. Right. And he only tolerates her. Uh, right. And then it's interesting that if you refer back to the beginning of the song, she says, I sit and watch you. And that's the same way she ended the song. I sit and watch you. But she sees the problem now, and it's not her. 
Yes. Okay. I mean, she has had a number of relationships, and I'm sure in some she feels like that she has made some mistakes and done wrong. We don't know if this is about a relationship with anybody or if she's just drawn on her experience of how some of them made her feel. But uh, I think she's a strong young woman, and she says, you know, uh, if it's not a two-way street, I'm I'm not going to be in it. Well, my thoughts are just be sure who you are committing to. Make sure you know that person and take your time. Make sure you don't commit to someone who can't reciprocate the love that you need. Right. So in talking about who this could be about, could be John Mayer. Because she says you're much older than me and he was definitely older than her. Mm -hmm. And there's a reference in Dear John that she says he paints her blue sky gray. And in the lyric video, there's a gray sky and she talks about painting a portrait. Good point. Okay, good point. I think it could be John Mayer, but, you know, nothing is confirmed. Okay. 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 I think that's a good thought. Yes. I think so. Okay, so Tolerate It from Evermore. What would you give this song? One to five stars, five being the best. I would give it a three. I think it's a good song. She she expresses her feelings. But when you put it up against some of her other songs that really perhaps uh, they're just better songs in my opinion. But I'd give it a solid three. I'm going to give it a four. I like the music in it. Kind of pulls at your heartstrings. Lyrically, I thought it was very good. Okay. So I'm going to give it a four. But once again, Islanders, we want your comments. Tell us what you want us to react to in the future. And be sure to like and subscribe. Subscribing helps us a lot. Yes. As we always say, it's nice to know. So many nice people. Bye. Bye.